Hello students, welcome to today's lecture on chapter 8 of the Conceptual Framework for Financial Reporting. This is our final chapter and we will be exploring the concepts of capital and capital maintenance. This chapter is essential for understanding how companies maintain and report their financial health over time. Content Overview In this chapter, we will cover the following key topics. 1. Concepts of Capital Understanding the financial and physical concepts of capital. How entities choose the appropriate concept of capital based on user needs. 2. Concepts of capital maintenance and the determination of profit. Financial capital maintenance and physical capital maintenance. The importance of these concepts in linking capital and profit. 3. Capital maintenance adjustments. Adjustments related to the revaluation or restatement of assets and liabilities. The impact of these adjustments on equity and profit reporting. Introduction to Chapter 8. Concepts of Capital. A financial concept of capital equates capital with the net assets or equity of the entity, often used by entities in preparing financial statements. This concept focuses on invested money or purchasing power. On the other hand, a physical concept of capital considers the productive capacity of the entity, such as the units of output per day. The selection of the concept depends on the primary concerns of the users of financial statements, whether they focus on nominal invested capital, purchasing power, or operating capability. Concepts of capital maintenance and the determination of profit. Capital maintenance is crucial for determining profit accurately. It involves maintaining either the financial or physical capital of the entity over a period. Financial capital maintenance measures profit based on the increase in net assets, while physical capital maintenance measures profit based on the increase in productive capacity. This distinction helps in understanding whether profit is derived from maintaining the capital's purchasing power or its physical capacity. Capital maintenance adjustments. These adjustments arise from revaluations or restatements of assets and liabilities. While they affect equity by increasing or decreasing it, they are not included in the income statement under certain concepts of capital maintenance. Instead, these adjustments are reflected in equity as capital maintenance adjustments or revaluation reserves. Conclusion this chapter provides a foundational understanding of how companies manage and report their capital and profits. By grasping these concepts, you will be better equipped to analyze and interpret financial statements accurately. Concepts of Capital Understanding the concepts of capital is fundamental to financial reporting because it defines the value and capacity of an entity. The two main concepts of capital are the financial concept of capital and the physical concept of capital. Each concept is suited to different needs of users of financial statements, and the choice between them depends on the entity's goals and the concerns of its stakeholders. Financial concept of capital. The financial concept of capital is the most commonly adopted by entities. Under this concept, capital is synonymous with the net assets or equity of the entity. In simpler terms, capital is represented by the monetary value of what the entity owns, assets, minus what it owes, liabilities. Invested money. This perspective views capital as the total amount of money invested in the entity. This includes both the initial funds contributed by the owners and any retained earnings, profits that have been reinvested in the business rather than distributed as dividends. Example. Imagine a company. ABC Corporation, with assets worth $5 million and liabilities worth $2 million. The net assets, or equity, of the company are $3 million, $5 million minus $2 million. This $3 million represents the financial capital of ABC Corporation, indicating the total invested money. Invested Purchasing Power this perspective considers the purchasing power of the money invested, which means adjusting for inflation or changes in the value of money over time. This ensures that the capital reflects its real value, not just its nominal value. Example, suppose DF Corporation was started with $1 million. After a year, due to inflation, the purchasing power of that $1 million has decreased by 10%. 
If DEF Corporation adjusts its financial statements for this inflation, it shows that to maintain the same purchasing power, the company now needs to have $1,100,000, 10% more than the original $1 million. Physical Concept of Capital The physical concept of capital views capital as the productive capacity of the entity. This concept is focused on the ability of the entity to generate goods and services, often measured by the physical units of output, such as units produced per day. It's more about maintaining the operational capability of the entity. Operating Capability This perspective considers capital as the entity's ability to sustain its operations and production levels. It's about keeping the machinery, equipment, and other physical resources in good working condition to maintain production levels. Example, XYZ Manufacturing has machinery that produces 10,000 units of product per day. The physical capital of XYZ Manufacturing is its ability to produce these 10,000 units daily. If XYZ Manufacturing maintains or increases this production capability over time, e.g. by repairing or upgrading machinery, it is said to maintain its physical capital. Selection of concept based on users' needs. The choice between a financial or physical concept of capital depends on what the users of the financial statements are primarily concerned with. Financial concept. This is appropriate if users are mainly concerned with the monetary value of their investments or the purchasing power of their invested capital. Investors and financial analysts typically prefer this concept because it focuses on the value of their shares and the dividends they receive. Example, investors in GHI Corporation are primarily concerned with the value of their shares and the potential dividends. Therefore, GHI Corporation adopts the financial concept of capital, focusing on maintaining and growing the monetary value of its net assets. Physical concept. This is suitable if users are primarily concerned with the entity's ability to maintain its production capacity and operational capabilities. Operational managers and production planners usually prefer this concept because it focuses on the entity's ability to continue producing goods and services efficiently. Example, stakeholders of JKL manufacturing, such as operational managers, are primarily concerned with maintaining the company's ability to produce goods efficiently. JKL Manufacturing adopts the physical concept of capital, focusing on maintaining its machinery and production facilities to ensure continuous and efficient production. Measurement Difficulties Each concept has its own measurement challenges, which need to be addressed carefully to ensure accurate financial reporting. Financial Concept Measuring invested money and purchasing power accurately requires adjustments for inflation and other economic factors. This ensures that the financial statements reflect the true value of the entity's capital. Example, MNO Retail uses the financial concept of capital. To account for inflation, the company adjusts its financial statements to reflect the changing value of money over time. If inflation is 5%, the company increases the value of its assets accordingly to maintain the purchasing power of its capital. Physical Concept Measuring productive capacity involves estimating future output and considering factors such as machinery wear and technological advancements. This ensures that the entity maintains its operational efficiency. Example, PQR Energy uses the physical concept of capital. The company regularly assesses its equipment to ensure it can maintain its current level of energy production. If new technology emerges that enhances production efficiency, PQR Energy considers investing in this technology to maintain or increase its productive capacity. By understanding these concepts and their applications, entities can better determine how to maintain and report their capital, ensuring they meet the needs of their financial statement users. This understanding helps in making informed decisions that align with the goals of the entity and the expectations of its stakeholders. Concepts of Capital Maintenance and the Determination of Profit The concepts of capital maintenance and the determination of profit are crucial for understanding how an entity measures and maintains its capital over time.
These concepts help distinguish between the entity's return on capital and its return of capital. There are two main concepts of capital maintenance, financial capital maintenance and physical capital maintenance. Each has its own way of defining profit and maintaining capital. Financial capital maintenance. Financial capital maintenance focuses on maintaining the monetary value of the entity's net assets. Under this concept, a profit is earned only if the financial or money amount of the net assets at the end of the period exceeds the financial or money amount of the net assets at the beginning of the period, after excluding any distributions to and contributions from owners during the period. Nominal monetary units. This approach measures capital in terms of the nominal money value. It does not adjust for changes in the purchasing power of money due to inflation. Example, imagine XYZ Corporation starts the year with $3 million in net assets. During the year, it earns $1 million in profits and distributes $500,000 to shareholders as dividends. At the end of the year, its net assets are $3,500,000. $3 million plus $1 million minus $500,000. Since the ending net assets exceed the beginning net assets, XYZ Corporation has maintained its financial capital and earned a profit. Constant purchasing power. This approach adjusts the monetary value to account for changes in the purchasing power of money due to inflation. It ensures that the capital maintains its real value over time. Example, ABC Corporation starts the year with $2 million in net assets. During the year, it earns $600,000 in profits, but inflation is 10%. To maintain the purchasing power of its capital, the company needs to have $2,200,000, 10% more than $2 million at the end of the year. If ABC Corporation ends the year with $2,400,000 in net assets, it has maintained its financial capital in constant purchasing power terms and earned a profit of $200,000. $2,400,000 minus $2,200,000. Physical Capital Maintenance Physical Capital Maintenance focuses on maintaining the entity's productive capacity. Under this concept, a profit is earned only if the physical productive capacity or operating capability of the entity at the end of the period exceeds the physical productive capacity at the beginning of the period after excluding any distributions to and contributions from owners during the period. Operating capability. This approach measures capital in terms of the entity's ability to produce goods and services. It considers factors like machinery efficiency and production capacity. Example, DF Manufacturing starts the year with machinery that produces 10,000 units per month. During the year, it upgrades its machinery, increasing production capacity to 12,000 units per month. If the productive capacity at the end of the year is 12,000 units per month, 2,000 units more than at the beginning, DF Manufacturing has maintained its physical capital and earned a profit in terms of increased production capacity. Differences between financial and physical capital maintenance. The principal difference between the two concepts lies in how they treat the effects of changes in the prices of assets and liabilities. Financial capital maintenance, nominal monetary units. Profit represents the increase in nominal money capital over the period. Holding gains, increases in the prices of assets held over the period, are considered profits, even if they are not realized through sales. Example, GHI Investments holds assets worth $1 million. By the end of the year, the value of these assets increases to $1,500,000 due to market conditions. Under financial capital maintenance, the $500,000 increase is considered profit, even if GHI Investments has not sold the assets. Financial capital maintenance, constant purchasing power. Profit represents the increase in invested purchasing power. Only the part of the increase in the prices of assets that exceeds the general level of inflation is regarded as profit. Example. JKL Retail holds inventory worth $1 million. 
By the end of the year, the value of this inventory increases to $1,300,000, but the inflation rate is 10%. To maintain purchasing power, the inventory needs to be worth $1,100,000, 10% more than $1 million. Therefore, the profit is $200,000. $1,300,000 minus $1,100,000. Physical Capital Maintenance Profit represents the increase in the entity's physical productive capacity. All price changes affecting the assets and liabilities are viewed as changes in the measurement of the physical productive capacity and are treated as capital maintenance adjustments rather than profit. Example MNO Energy starts the year with machinery capable of generating 1,000 megawatts of power. During the year, it acquires new technology that increases capacity to 1,200 megawatts. The additional 200 megawatts represent an increase in physical productive capacity, indicating profit under the physical capital maintenance concept. Capital Maintenance Adjustments Capital maintenance adjustments are changes in equity resulting from the revaluation or restatement of assets and liabilities. These adjustments are part of equity and not considered profit under certain concepts of capital maintenance. Revaluation reserves. These are increases in equity resulting from the revaluation of assets to reflect their current market value. They are treated as capital maintenance adjustments and not included in profit. Example. PQR Properties owns a building originally valued at $1 million. At the end of the year, the market value of the building increases to $1,500,000. The $500,000 increase is recorded as a revaluation reserve in equity, not as profit. Restatements for inflation. These are adjustments made to ensure the financial statements reflect the real value of assets and liabilities, taking into account changes in the purchasing power of money. Example. STU Corporation holds inventory valued at $1 million. Due to a 20% inflation rate during the year, the value of the inventory in constant purchasing power terms is $1,200,000. The $200,000 increase is recorded as a capital maintenance adjustment, ensuring the financial statements reflect the real value of the inventory. By understanding these concepts and examples, students can grasp how entities measure and maintain their capital, determine profit, and make adjustments to ensure accurate financial reporting. This knowledge is essential for making informed financial decisions and understanding the financial health of an entity. Capital Maintenance Adjustments Capital maintenance adjustments involve the revaluation or restatement of assets and liabilities to reflect changes in their value. These adjustments are crucial for ensuring that the capital of an entity is maintained in real terms, and they help distinguish between true profit and changes in capital. Under certain concepts of capital maintenance, these adjustments are part of equity rather than being included in the income statement. Revaluation of assets and liabilities. Revaluation of assets and liabilities occurs when their carrying amount in the financial statements is adjusted to reflect their current market value. This process ensures that the financial statements provide a true and fair view of the entity's financial position. Example. DF Properties owns a piece of land initially valued at $2 million. Over the year, the market value of the land increases to $2,500,000. DF Properties revalues the land to its new market value. The $500,000 increase is recorded as a revaluation reserve in equity, ensuring that the financial statements reflect the true value of the land. Restatement for Inflation Restatement for inflation adjusts the carrying amounts of assets and liabilities to account for changes in the purchasing power of money. This ensures that the financial statements reflect the real value of the entity's assets and liabilities. Example, GHI Manufacturing holds machinery valued at $3 million. During the year, the inflation rate is 10%. To maintain the real value of its machinery, GHI Manufacturing restates the value to $3,300,000, $3 million plus 10%. 
The $300,000 increase is recorded as a capital maintenance adjustment, ensuring the financial statements reflect the real value of the machinery. Capital maintenance adjustments in equity. Increases or decreases in equity resulting from revaluation or restatement are treated as capital maintenance adjustments. These adjustments ensure that the entity's capital is maintained in real terms and distinguish between profit and changes in capital. Example, JKL Enterprises holds investment properties initially valued at $4 million. At the end of the year, the market value of these properties increases to $4,800,000. JKL Enterprises records the $800,000 increase as a revaluation reserve in equity, not as profit. This capital maintenance adjustment ensures that the financial statements accurately reflect the increase in the value of the properties. Importance of Capital Maintenance Adjustments Capital maintenance adjustments are vital for several reasons. 1. Accurate financial reporting. They ensure that the financial statements present a true and fair view of the entity's financial position by reflecting the current value of assets and liabilities. 2. Distinguishing profit from capital changes. By recording revaluation and restatement adjustments in equity, these adjustments help distinguish between true profit and changes in the value of the entity's capital. 3. Inflation accounting. In periods of high inflation, restatement for inflation ensures that the financial statements reflect the real value of assets and liabilities, maintaining the purchasing power of the entity's capital. Summary. Capital maintenance adjustments involve revaluing or restating assets and liabilities to reflect their true value. These adjustments are recorded in equity rather than the income statement, ensuring accurate financial reporting and maintaining the real value of the entity's capital. Understanding these adjustments is essential for distinguishing between profit and changes in capital, which is crucial for making informed financial decisions. Brief Summary of Chapter 8 Chapter 8 of the Conceptual Framework for Financial Reporting covers three main topics. Concepts of capital, concepts of capital maintenance, and the determination of profit and capital maintenance adjustments. <laughs> concepts of capital. This section explains the difference between financial and physical concepts of capital. Financial capital relates to the net assets or equity of the entity, while physical capital pertains to the entity's productive capacity. Concepts of Capital Maintenance and the Determination of Profit This section discusses how entities can maintain their capital and determine profit. It introduces financial capital maintenance focused on the monetary value of net assets and physical capital maintenance focused on maintaining productive capacity. Examples illustrate how profit is determined under each concept. Capital Maintenance Adjustments this section covers the adjustments made to reflect the true value of assets and liabilities. These adjustments are recorded in equity to ensure accurate financial reporting and maintain the real value of capital. Thank you for completing the course on the Conceptual Framework for Financial Reporting. We hope you found it informative and useful. Join us for our next course, where we will provide a complete introduction and interpretation of IFRS. International Financial Reporting Standards, and IAS, International Accounting Standards. See you there.